When I think of the 80s and the opportunities, it was a lot of money made in the 80s, yeah. but there were also high pockets of poverty oh, yeah. everywhere in New York. And here you are, a young man. Um, with an expense account. With an expense account, traveling. I didn't even have a driver's license. Didn't even have a driver's license. Look at that. Still had a permit. Look at that. How did that lead you to the wonderful, diverse department. world? <laughs> department <laughs> of Corruption? Of Department of Correction. I'm sorry, I meant correction. <laughs> um, okay, so we're at the, the final stage here. Um, I now find out that. The dual books. That they're taking money. Yeah, a lot of money. I didn't have the tolerance or the maturity to confront them properly on the money. Mm. You know, I kind of had a Nat Turner mentality right about then. Mm. So I knew it was best for me to go. Mm. And ironically, two things came up back to back. Mm. The fire department, mm. which I aced. Mm. You know, I, I like talking about it because, you know, People can want to fact check things. Of course. Two people died taking the test that I took. Mm -hmm. They have intervals on the physical mm. of four minutes for every task. They won't let you begin until that four minutes lapse. I completed every interval in less than two minutes mm. with, till I forgot at the end that that tank was on my back and I knocked myself out. Mm. I knocked myself out and wound up with a 95 on the test, on the physical. Still. Yeah. Your mother's son. Mm-hmm. There's only problem. I had a, a 98 on the written, 95 on the physical. I got cold. I hate the cold. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> People laugh, wait, the cold? Yeah, the cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but did... No, no, you don't see. I, I don't care how rare the occasion is. Mm. If you go to a fire in the winter and it's a couple of thousand degrees, mm. I don't care what you're wearing, you're going to perspire. Mm -hmm. The ride back was too long for me. Mm. And it may only be five minutes. I can't take the cold. Mm. And the one time that I finally decided to venture out, I'm looking at a, a man and a, a fireman. In a cherry picker, because you know, I was fascinated. Remember, I wanted mm -hmm. to be a seal, so this was the closest thing mm -hmm. to the adventure mm -hmm. that I could get to. Um, the the boiler blew up. Flames are shooting out of the uh, basement window, like spot from the monsters, mm. across the front yard into the street. Mm. Uh, it's a three story brick building in Canarsie. In Canarsie. Um, Private house, the wall is so the claws are up holding the wall. Mm. All that was fine. None of that bothered me. So the firefighter went up in a cherry picker to pull the woman out of the flames. Pulled her out, crowd is outside going crazy. But it was so cold mm. that every layer of water in the cherry picker froze so he had to lock himself in position to to hold this woman right. by the time he got from the third floor to the street he was frozen solid inside the cherry pick <laughs> and there were axe picks chopping him out and all i could think of was that's too cold mm. so <laughs> i wind up incorrect mm. by default i said two things. Fires don't discriminate, mm. and they have heat in jail. Mm. People I'm used to dealing with. Mm. You can't tell a fire, stop, and mm. it's going to listen. Mm. You have to put it out. Mm. People, you can tell them stop, and some will listen. Mm. So, I took my chances, and I mm. went to jail. <laughs> How long was the training? Then I'm sure some things are a little different. Uh, 
eight weeks. Okay. Um, I one of the fortunate ones. My academy class was on Rikers Island. We didn't have the wonderful, illustrious building they have with the you know all the the updated apparatus. Mm. No. It was actually on, on Rikers, Rikers Island. Island. So there was no mistake of <laughs> they you, you let's where you get were. you in sync with the environment right. now. And everything we did, we jogged on the island. We ate. Uh, we lost two people the first day. Mm. That just dropped out? Oh, yeah. Okay. Because they said you can't bring any bags, so no bag lunch. You have to eat what's here. Mm. That was it. They were out. So I'm not eating whatever's on here. Mm. But they were... Uh, trying to avoid us being compromised. Mm -hmm. You're new, you're engaging with inmates, they're manipulative, and they would convince you to bring something else in your bag other than your lunch. Mm -hmm. So to avoid that, no bags. Mm -hmm. The only bag you have is your clothes. Mm -hmm. That's it. That first day of training, what was the smell and sounds? Like well, the first day we were outside. It was okay. summertime. It was mm. wonderful. Um, pheasants are running around on the island. Mm. Uh, flies and mosquitoes. Mm. But then something wonderful happened. We were still in suits mm. out there in the dirt. And they started calling my name out of the window. Mm. You know, the trainers are like, okay, Joel? Is, is this a coincidence? Is this a, a fluke? Did someone say it? And is it, you know, mm -hmm. a wave? Mm -hmm. So they go and they pull my, my paperwork. So you're there I'm first there, day. First day. And you hear your name. Full government. Full government. <laughs> your trainers are there. Your co-trainees are there, yeah. and your name is echoing out. Could you see where it was coming from? No. Did you recognize the voice? It was too many of them. It was too, so it was several voices? Yeah. Wow. They went back, and they said, yeah, he can't go with any. They, they recognized where it was from. Mm -hmm. They identified it. You know, I didn't know the island at the time, mm -hmm. so I didn't know one building from the other. Mm -hmm. And uh, turns out, uh, these were fans from basketball. <laughs> wow! Wow! They're like, that's my guy. <laughs> Some played with us. Mm -hmm. Some played against us. But even the ones that didn't. Remember, I'm at every practice and every game of my brothers. Right. So we're talking a full decade of individuals mm. who know exactly who I am. Mm. There was no mistake. So they wound up orchestrating and putting me in the worst building on the island. What building was that? Um, the Detention for Men. Okay. Um, it's now closed. Okay. Um, they renamed it JATC. It was at the time there was HDM. So anyone who went on that island, if you mentioned that in that era, that was I mean that was Guantanamo Bay for them. Mm -hmm. um, in this era, uh, you hear OBCC. That's the new dungeon. Mm because they had a punitive segregation in that building. That's where they took all the real hostiles that couldn't be in a general population. Mm. Uh, the ones that they locked up for 23 hours a day. Mm. So that's where they sent me. That's where I started. Mm, that's where it started. <laughs>